Hello, today I am going to teach you how to create a KML file that will be easily displayed on Google Maps. Uh, right here we have an example of a KML file that has been created, uh, place marking all the uh, different cities that are found in Iowa that in this case start with the letter A. So here's just a number of the different ones here so you can see um, what has been created. Uh, we've had, we have the coordinates, the Latin longs, and uh, the names, so that's uh, we created the camo file with that information, and uh, from there it went ahead and uh, uh, place marked them on Google Map, Google Maps, okay? So, uh, we'll delete this, and uh, let's start from scratch. First, a uh, couple things actually. Uh, first, you want to get a text editor like Sublime Text. Uh, this one I recommend because it's uh, very intuitive, it works well, and um, it's what I've used and it's what we're using in this example. So it's just best to work with something uh, here that you could kind of follow along with. It's free and um, good editor, all right? Uh, secondly, uh, download the Joe's KMK. Or ML data template. Okay, uh, this uh, is the template. Uh, this is the tab that you're going to be pasting the information into, and this is the code that you will be uh, copying from. Okay, so uh, and now uh, here are the cities that we want to go at. These highlighted cities here. These are the cities that we want to. Go ahead and uh, map out, uh, create a KML file out of. Okay, so. Okay, so what we're going to do is highlight these cities or copy them. There's 135 different cities. So we're going to copy. We're going to go to our template. Paste it in name. Okay, just put something over here in right. So that then I can show you the difference between placing something in name and placing something in description. Okay, so next uh, we're going to get the, the latitude. So get these 135 different latitude coordinates. Paste it. Now the latitude. Oops, too far. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna paste the longitudes there. Okay. So now we have the name of the city, longitude, latitude, and then just this stuff in this in this description for Brighton. Okay. Next, you're gonna go to code, and you're gonna see now. Uh, city name is now in this little in, uh, right after C data then it's Brit uh, it's a city okay so we're gonna scroll down to where we don't see a city in that space anymore and right here there's no city there and then there's a city there so this indicates this is the last city in our list okay so we're gonna copy that control C Go to Sublime Text, create a new tab, just a new file, and then paste it. Okay, this is our code now that we've grabbed from Excel. Okay, this is what is understood by the uh, by Google Maps or is it by the KML language. Okay, uh, the one thing is though it doesn't understand it completely because there are a number of different quotes that have been included in our paste. So uh, what we got to do is we got to find all those quotes and delete them. Find, Control F, and then find all, and then delete. Okay. So now this is this is our cleaned up information. Okay. Next we're going to open Joe's KML template. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste that information right here. 
Okay, so we had control A, control C, and then control B. Okay, so now uh, what we can do is file, save as, and paste it as new points. Okay, all right, so there you go. So now what we can do is go to that. Click on new points, this one here. And there you go. So here, here's uh, the, the KML file that we created. These are the points uh, that, uh, that, we've, uh, that we've created, or that we uh, are able to mark up now, okay? I'll place mark here, okay? So there is, uh, there's one, Brighton. Brighton, if you go to Brighton, you have, now you see where the, if you place information in the, in the description field, this is where it shows up, okay? So when you hit the description, or when you place something in the description, that's when it shows up. So say, for instance, you know the population of each of these cities, you can place, you know, Delta has 10,000 people, Deep River 4,000, Conroy 2,000. 2300 you know you could place that information in the description uh, and then that'll show up just like uh, it's, it's showing up here okay so that's uh that's basically how you go ahead and uh create a kml file All right it's uh, pretty easy and we'll do another one So, go to data and then just clear everything off of this. Okay. So, again, go to your source file, information that you want to show, and just go ahead and copy and paste. Copy this, paste it over here, copy this. Here, paste your latitude there, copy your longitude, paste your longitude there. So now you have your code here. There's a, sh a lot shorter of a list. So you can see this is the end of your this is the end of your list. So we're going to copy this. Control Z. Go here. Place mark. Now we're just going to delete all that. And then remember control F and we want to find out find all the quotes find all and then once they're highlighted just hit delete okay so now we're going to open that template up again so open file Joe's KML template like this control A select all control C copy it and then we're going to paste it right where we say we right where it says so control v then you file save as smaller list and just hit save okay so we'll go to where that is double click and there you go. Pretty easy. Okay. There's a lot more you can do with this. This is just a very simplified way of doing it. Um, I don't consider myself an expert at all in this. Just uh, know a little bit more uh, than uh, some others uh, just by doing some research. So, uh, like you, I stumbled upon uh, information and was able to go ahead and uh, come up with uh, an idea on how to go ahead and create this so uh, this is that's where we are now uh, so yeah this is really what the what the, the KML data template does is it'll go it just uh, concatenates a bunch of cells here I'll show you in this template so it'll 
put the longitude value there, the latitude, the latitude value there, latitude and longitude there in the description, and then it'll concatenate everything together, therefore creating the code necessary uh, for Google Earth to understand. Okay, so that's how this works. All right, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, link the uh, where you could go ahead and download the Excel templates, and I'll link a uh, uh, where you could go ahead and download the uh, Sublime text uh, text editor. Okay. Uh, any questions? Just leave them below, and uh, best of luck.